What's up guys, welcome back to Ultimate MMA Plus. I'm Coach Andrew here with my assistant Joe Townsend. We're going to work some guard for MMA today. We call this the Verdun guard because I've seen uh, Fabrizio Verdun doing it a lot. So we're going to do two things off this series and then we're actually going to revisit this series and do two other things for the following weeks. But it's going to be two parts, alright? So, you guys see we're going to start in closed guard and his hands are going to be on my biceps controlling me. I want to bring him in because obviously I don't want to get hit. So I'm going to come underneath, and instead of taking an overhook, I'm going to reach and I'm going to grab his lat, so this way I can shrimp out and get a little bit of an angle here. So this way you try to punch him with this arm, I can control this arm, I'm not too worried about. All right, what you guys are going to do, you can put your leg on the ground or you can put the leg on the hip. Either one is fine. I'm going to shrimp, bring my knee inside, and I'm going to just control the wrist and get to here. Similar to what we did a couple weeks ago. From here we do the triangle. I'm going to lift up. I can either bring my leg right through or I can lift up. If I can't do that, and go down and around. Close the guard. And we're just going to come up over. Just work the triangle. Come back as far as you can. Then close. It's much tighter. I don't even need my hands here if I just squeeze my knees, but bring the head down. Come. This angle. So, the Verdun guard for MMA. Come inside. Bring him forward with your legs. Grab the left. Shrimp. Foot on the hip. Now I'm going to bring, right now his arm's a little loose. So then on the ground, I'm going to be able to slip my knee in pretty easily. Come here and grab his wrist. If you're flexible, foot up. You can just bring your foot right inside and never let that go. Here, here. I can't close the triangle from here, guys. Especially, I don't have long legs. So if the guy's big, it'll be impossible. I'm going to scoop back as far as I can. So I'm not even going to take an angle, I'm just going to keep scooting, keep scooting. Now look at the difference, I can close fully. And when I close the triangle, flare my knee out, look, he wants to tap, and then finish. He's controlling the biceps, come underneath. As I bring him in, I grab the lat, straighten this leg out to shrimp a little, foot on the hip. Maybe his arms are down a little bit more, not super tight, but just slip my, my knee right through. Up, down, and around this time. Here, open, control the wrist, don't let the wrist go. Here, scoop back, scoop back, close, finish. Let's do one more on this angle. So I'm here. You guys are going to come underneath, here, here, I can stay on the hip here, control the wrist, again if you're flexible you can just bring it in, sometimes you have a hard time doing that, so just come down and around, bring it up, control the wrist, grab, scoop back, scoop back, keep scooting as much as possible, close and flare the knee, don't you feel that? He's not going to feel it. Some people try to adjust, think he's going to tap. Look, here, toes up, and finish. You guys got it? All right, guys, this is part one. We're going to do two parts. So if you like, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. Definitely don't forget to subscribe. You guys got it? On three, one, two.